when I'm manic, I tend to have sort of a lot of ideas and get really, really excited about them. And I wish I could like work on everything at once. Often my colors will either reflect how I'm feeling at the time or I'll use color as a way to sort of perk myself up or make myself feel better. I don't know, do you want me to get really into pigment? Cause I could like nerd out. For like <laughs> Whether it be my textiles or my digital work, it always either references paint in some way or has a painterly aspect to it. Art has always been at the core for me, um, a sort of coping mechanism. I'm bipolar and I've always had really bad anxiety and have had bouts of depression throughout my life. And art has always been a tool I've had. I mean, sometimes it can be a struggle for sure, but I definitely wouldn't trade being bipolar because I feel things more intensely than other people do. And it also means that when I work on something, anything, I do it with a lot of intensity and passion. Sometimes when I get really into a project, yeah, we'll just really focus on it and not sleep or leave the studio for days on end. Sometimes I'll have seven or eight paintings around me and be working on all of them at the same time. My art talks a lot about nature and technology and where those two things collide. So this series here is my alien organism series. And a lot of the shapes and forms in these reference jellyfish, seaweed, fungi, lichen. And due to the really bright colors, they look almost like they're otherworldly. Growing up, I definitely spent a lot of time inside on the computer when it was pouring rain, which was like eight months of the year. <laughs> and then when it was nice out, being outside. So sort of the way my brain dealt with growing up with like 90s cartoons, angel fire sites, and like the internet aesthetics of the early 90s and like early 2000s, and the beautiful nature I was surrounded by. So it's sort of melding all those feelings and senses together into one thing. The Glitched Zip uh, series, the term glitch refers to glitch art, which is a kind of art created using the flaws in technology. Any art that references the internet or digital aesthetic can be considered post-internet art. I would consider post-internet art really interesting as far as how it affects the art world. It gives artists a lot of agency. Not very long ago, you kind of had to rely on the gallery systems. They sort of tend to gear towards a specific kind of person that they represent, and that often excludes minorities and women, um, people of color and queer people. So I am very interested in how the internet gives agency to these people to show and sell work. And I think also, as far as a viewer, it makes art more accessible. Sharing your art with the world is a very vulnerable thing to do. And it's always hard for me to be very vulnerable with people. Feels really nice to get feedback from people when they connect to my work or understand sort of what I was getting at, especially when it's an abstract painting and I'm not articulating it in any sort of language aside from a visual code and people are still reading that and understanding what it's meant to mean. It's very satisfying. <laughs>